Hello, hello, it's Kevin here. Time for video continuing with Cambridge 18, the new book. We're working on academic writing task number one. This is from test number two. The number of households in America, annual income, etc. So, first of all, as usual, fair use, non profit, blah blah blah, because I don't make any, any money out of this nonsense. So, Let's have a look. Now, I'll show you mine first, all right? Now, as you may or may not know, uh, I'll mention it again. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm doing every single Cambridge previous paper, 18, 17, 16, 15, etc., all the way down to number one. So, we did 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, and 9. Then Cambridge 18 came out a week or so back. So I did um, test one a few days back. This is test number two. Okay, we'll finish these. We'll do the essays for Cambridge 18, then we'll get on to Cambridge 8 and uh, carry on our move down to number one. So 205 words. Um, I'll just put it on so you can see it all. So this one's relatively straightforward. There's quite a bit of uh, data, you know, years amounts and categories etc i mean if we take a, a look at it so as we can see just put this on the screen so it's the number of households who are earning this amount so that's uh, so it's not just earnings in general it's households within the group who are earning a particular amount okay so you've got x-axis number of households in millions on the y-axis, the three years in question. At the bottom, um, you can see the different categories. 25000 up to $100,000 or more. Okay, so let's have a look. So, like I say, like I keep saying, simply paraphrase the topic. The bar chart illustrates the number of households ranked by the annual income in three years. Okay, then overview. Well, as you can see, in three out of the five brackets, the number of households within those groups increased, except for the two middle income groups, which you can see here, these two, more or less unchanged. So that went up, that went up, well, you know, a slight fall, but still went up from the, uh, from the beginning of the period. That went up. Bum, bum, bum. And as I say, those two stayed the same. The highest earners showed the largest increase. Okay, so it's like all all these key trends and features. It's what's the biggest, what's the smallest, what changed, what's unchanged, etc. That's all. That's all we have to uh, write about. Two, maybe three features. Okay. So, like I say, that went up. And the biggest was that one. Okay. So you can do it in different ways. This, I just found this easier to make more, uh, more sense, as we'll see from the five um, learner responses we're going to take a look at in a minute. You have to have a logical progression, a logical way of projecting the information. So it's not jumping around and uh, confusing people. So in this one, 2007 started with the lowest earners or the lowest number of households within that lowest earning group. I won't read it all out. You can uh, see it for yourself. So in 2007, those with earnings in the 25,000, 25, 28, and fell by the end of the period. So obviously that's year one, two, and three. For the next, a definite rise. Across for three years, so you don't have to, you know, say every single year. And for variation, I like to keep things, you know, um, not use the same structure for every bit of data. Because if you keep saying, you know, every single year, and it's it's just a mess, you know, it's just very repetitive for the reader. So category one was this, this, this. Category two. This is this across the three years measured. However, this is the comparison. The middle income groups virtually unchanged. More or less, I say virtually unchanged. Okay. Then what's the what's the biggest? 
turning to the highest category of earners, 2007, 30 million households, 27 million year finishes, the largest group of approximately 34 million households in 2015. Okay, so I think that's a pretty logical way of arranging the information. Yeah, okay, so you've got three years, etc. Now, let's have a look now. Just obviously, okay. Now, that introduction doesn't tell us what the categories are which you don't really have to say, oh, it's, you know, in include all those other figures, but I would at least put the years. I would at least, you know, said, was was it 2007, 11, and 2015? Okay, I would at least put that, but there's no clear, I mean, right, this seems to be, apparently, an overview, but it's not, really, it's not clearly identifying those key trends. Two, maybe three, all right? Like you can see from mine, three out of five increased, two stayed the same, and the largest group is 100,000 plus, and that's basically it. All three years of income has been constant. Okay, so that's for middle income, I think. So that doesn't really work. And you don't usually put figures or data in the overview. You're supposed to look at the broad trends, yeah? So that doesn't really work. The figure of 2011 in the last household period being being exactly um, what well, the figure of 25,000 less 25 million household whole period being at exactly 25 million. Uh, they just said that rising by 3,000, 2011 by dropping a thousand. The same trend has has happened. Mm, well, why are you using present perfect? 2015 is still in the past, I think. $30,000 and, and last felt at twenty twenty eight thousand dollars isn't it? A million dollars? Isn't it million households at last? Oh. So anyway, I'm not even going to bother to interpret that. Uh, 20,000 households, make that plural. A different trend happened for the two rest, what, for the two remaining categories, or two other categories. Thousand dollars and dropping to about, right, so I'm not going to make any more comments on that one. Comparison of number, uh, yeah, right, in three distinct years, as opposed to what, indistinct years, with four-year intervals. Why didn't you just say 2007, 2011, 2015? Wouldn't that be easier than than this. So, um, this is a little better from an overview. Data reveals while households with income were more dominant. So, the 2000, right. so again, that doesn't clearly identify the key trends or features. It tries to, but it doesn't uh, quite identify them. I mean, this is all we have to do, really, you know. I mean, look at it, right? So, if you look, you've got five, yeah? Out of the five, you've got one, two, three, by the end, right? So three out of the five definitely increased across the period, okay? Two, however, virtually unchanged, and one was the largest. So that's how I would do it. I mean, it's, you know, there's no need to make it overly complicated, yeah? Uh, look at plans of them respectively. Okay, how's the method? It's been virtually constant. Former group of yeah, about 15 million. So again, this is what I'm talking about. If you don't have a logical progression, now, right, what they say, <coughs> sorry, the examiners say that uh, if you write task one correctly, right, um, the reader should be able to draw the graph chart data map from your words. Now, I think obviously that's, you know, a little bit uh, asking a little bit much, but that's what they say, all right? But you can't really do that here. This is why you need that logic. What's the smallest? What's the biggest? What's unchanged? What can you group, etc. yeah? So, uh, we made virtual constant. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Eight year period, all right, well, three different years before group now, so we're leveling out. So, okay, that's not too bad. I mean, that's more or less it. But why would you 
finish with that that was unchanged. I mean, I would, like I say, you know, if you progress across, right? So you start with that one, that one, they're the same, that's the biggest. Go from low to high. Doesn't that make sense? Yeah. Go from low up to the highest. Yeah. Lowest up to the highest. That seems to make uh, make sense, I would have thought. So this is what I'm saying. You, you need logical progression organization. If you're not to confuse people. Uh, right. Yeah. But the distribution has been a subject. Present perfect. What? So it's not the subject now. This distribution, so, right, the significant evidence to, what is that? That doesn't work. What is that? Um, you know, I shouldn't have to comment. It's like, you know. So, what is it exactly? What years, what categories? That doesn't really work. This distribution has become to provide the significant evidence to indicate. No, right, sorry. Um... So the number of households have been crossed five. So why wasn't this in the introduction? And where's the key trends and features? Lowest representation, highest and more numerous groups. So again, this is not what the examiners want. They've clearly, they've clearly said, and you can see the many videos from on IDP, IELTS.org, University of Cambridge. I want you to have that introduction. It shows this. This is on the X axis. This is on the Y axis. It wants you to paraphrase that. It's measured in this. It shows this. Then overview. I won't show you the criteria again, but it says you must clearly identify those key trends and features. All right? And if you don't, you're not going to get a very good task achievement score. Okay. Distribution change became a largest group. Distribution distribution reverted back what does this mean oh. right uh, okay all right that's better now again you know maybe supposed to put any figures or data in the overview it's just you're supposed to look at the big picture right so like I did in mine I said right three out of five right rows with these two exceptions. So these three went up, these two remained the same, and the largest was the top group of earners. All right, then I start from, where are we? Do, 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 do. We start from the lowest income group in year one, well, you know, the first uh, year that is uh, recorded, yeah? So I start from the lowest, that, then that, that's the same, that, that, then that, those two are the same, that, you know, that's how I did it. So again, if you don't have a logical progression, I mean, you could do highest from lowest, but the way it's laid out, it makes more sense to just go, you know, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, mine was only 205 words, you know, like if you look at mine, mine's only 205. That's not excessive, really. We've got that introduction, okay. Oh, the view. Three went up, two didn't, and the biggest one is bomb. And then start with that, go through, next category, and turn into the highest category, you know. Logic, logical progression. So the reader's not confused. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, what else? What else? A thousand, same trend has happened. $28,000, $27,000, fee $30,000. I thought it was um, in millions of dollars, isn't it? It's in millions. So what's this thousands? What's this? Number of households in millions. I'm, I'm not quite sure what uh, thousands are. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Provide a chart as a comparison in three years. Okay. Uh, Okay, okay, now, like I say, that could be a little better. What's those key trends? Looking more at the chart, well, just <laughs> looking at the chart, it's evident most of the American people, eh? most of the American people? 
well, it's only within a certain category. So is it really most? I mean, how can it be most? I mean, you've got what? So you've got 25 million, uh, just to turn that's 50 odd million, 70 odd million, uh, what's that, 85 million, what's that, 105 million. How many people live in America? Over 300 a million people. So it's not most Americans, though. Don't think so. Okay. Um, where are we? Um, yeah, this one here. Okay. Uh, well, at least in all three years, most of the American people. Mm. Okay. 34 million, a similar pattern. When, when, when it had, which had. Uh, 36 million fans had salary, had a salary or earnings in the range of and less, respectively. Slight increase, respectively. You need to watch that because if you keep using respectively, 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 this is why. I mixed mine up a bit, so I'm not constantly saying respectively, respectively. Okay, the scenario changed. Uh, our most, so right, again, that's 233 words. So, logic, you know. Okay, the chart compares, yeah, with revenue. Okay, that's good. Now, households is not necessarily a family. So you need to be careful. A household, the number of people living in a distinct house, like a house or hold. So you could have a single person in a, say like it's an apartment, yeah? So you could have a family in that apartment. You could have a single person in that apartment. You could have boyfriend and girlfriend or whoever in that apartment. So it's not necessarily families. It says households on purpose. So we need to be careful when you paraphrase that. High spa. See, so, yeah, okay, that's the highest. Okay, but you've got figures and data. You don't put that in the overview. Okay, so. All right. I'm just going to show you mine again because most of these, well, in fact, all. I think we all felt to have this logical arrangement. Yeah, it's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward, right? As I say, 205, 205 words. So, all that you need, right? Introduction, the graph table chart map shows this, this, this. This is on one axis, this is on the other axis. Okay, right. Overall, big picture, right? That's the biggest, that's the smallest, that's changed, that's not changed. Or whatever. And then, have a logical progression of the information. So this one here, like I say, low up to, up to high. That seemed to make sense. Okay, so I hope that helps. And uh, I'll just leave that there for you to have a look at. So uh, I'm going to be doing Cambridge 18, test number three. Um, yeah, this week I'll post it, see what people say, and uh, I'll make a video later. So uh, check the description box if you're on YouTube, links to the Telegram group, IELTS 9 Pro, and my profile on italki if you need to. Um, did I mention at the start? Yeah, so we've got a group, IELTS 9 Pro, Telegram, so I do the sample. So you might be watching this on IELTS 9 Pro, a Parat, or you might be watching it on YouTube, but all the links will be uh, in the box. Okay, so anyway, hope that helps for today. That's, that's So this is uh, Cambridge 18 test number two. Okay, uh, that one. So, hope that helps, and I'll see you next time.